ourselves in terms of some of the you know things that we did today. I think in terms of the personnel, uh, I have to take responsibility for that, so I'll be able to address that. But I think overall, I think we, we lacked uh, that that fight that we showed in the first match. Um, so obviously, I think we do need to kind of address those things. But but overall, I think, look, this this is an opportunity. We're still a young group. There's still opportunity for this group to grow. Um, but obviously, we have to be honest with ourselves in terms of that performance, and that's not a, a Jamaican performance. And, and when you come up flat against the top 10 team in the world, that's what you get. Questions right in front. Uh, Coach, today uh, the Philadelphia Inquirer reported that um, a source had told them the JFA was considering shutting down the women's program if they didn't qualify for the Olympics this time around. I know there's never a great time to ask you that question, especially since you still have a game left, but can you comment at all on the rumor that was reported today? That's the first, um, that's the first that I'm, I'm hearing of it. Um, to be honest, one of the things that we've been looking at along with Federation and our ambassador Sadella Marley has been very supportive. Is the idea that you know for us to, to for us to get where we need to go to, we, we can't lay dormant. At the end of the day, we haven't been together since we played the, the Caribbean uh, uh, qualifiers in the fall in October. And the reality is, is that we need to play top games, and we need to go out there and continue to play those games in the FIFA Women's Windows to be able to improve. That, that's the only way that we get to that next level. Um, you know, to be able to reach the plateau of the World Cup and then not have anything afterwards um, is obviously not something that we want. Um, so, you know, in, in terms of the planning, like I said, that, that's news to me because the idea is to say, how do we look to, to build upon it? Because if not, you know, these things will kind of occur or, or keep reoccurring um, when, you're, when you're flat and you haven't been as sharp as we were today. Right in front. Um, I was hoping you could talk a little bit about some of the changes. So at halftime, uh, take off Sashana and have Dominique move back. Um, is that just a tactical change? Is that a, a response to something you're seeing out there? Yeah, I think it's just one of, th one of the things we wanted to address going down that side. Um, but, but obviously, the, the, the biggest thing for us is that we've got to be able to be brave and, and, and have a little bit more belief when we have possession of the ball. Um, you know, that's something that we've been trying to address coming in and, and unfortunately we, I think we had a, a bad case of, of stage fright today when we really shouldn't because obviously you know as we kept on saying to them as the staff you've, you've played at the, the pinnacle of, 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 of the game and going to a World Cup so you, there's nothing that we should be afraid of but we played tenant today we played scared today and when you do that against again a quality opposition like Canada again you, you know the re result is what you get question. Is that it? Any more questions? If not, thank you very much. Thank you very much. For